Hello to all my lovely subscribers and new viewers. My name is Emma and this is the Vintage Unicorn Beauty Makeup and Etc. And again, I am shooting episode two of doing my makeup naked. And it feels good. So follow me. I am doing this thing I have called the Southwest Sunset using Mr. Jeffrey's blood sugar palette and also chatting a little bit about issues, new makeup products, the like. So I encourage you to keep watching and subscribe. Mwah. I would like to start by saying this might be my favorite. <laughs> this might be my favorite makeup palette ever. I have to be careful with that mirror. Um, it really is. It's just like everything I've ever wanted in a makeup palette. I will be honest, it would have been cool if there was a black in there, but you know what? There's blacks in other palettes. So the Thirsty palette is on its way and I couldn't be more excited. Really, I couldn't. So I'm just gonna take a large flat shadow brush, this one's scone, and cover my lids with glucose. It's a fairly quick look, and it is fairly messy. I tend to like messier looks. And when I was wearing something similar this afternoon, I thought, wow, it looks like a Southwest sunset on my eyes. And I grew up in Albuquerque. We have mountains that overlook the city, and they're called the Sandias because um, around sundown they will start to glow pink and the southwest sunset is just beautiful so that is the inspiration behind this so I'm going to start by just jumping right in to cherry soda and working that in just above the crease and blending and blending out into a wing and even filling in this area a little bit and that takes a little bit of time all right, once that is nice and blended, I'm just going to pick my 506 Morphe brush because there is a little bit of spillage and stuff, but that's okay. And I'm going to dip into the color Tongue Pop and blend that together and soften it up. It's okay if it's on the eyelid a little bit. I want to agree. I've seen a lot of these videos that are like, Ipsy is canceled. Ipsy is definitely canceled. But can we talk about all the other subscription services where you get you know, X amount of stuff for $10 a month. They're all ripoffs. I mean, they never give you enough product for you to actually enjoy the product. So at the end of the day, they're just making money by sending you a teaser. So, I mean, that's for you to decide, but that's what I've decided. It's much better to, you know, see reviews of a product that you're interested in, or maybe follow someone who is in on new stuff then pay $10 a month for a supposed supply that costs $40 and it's all samples and maybe one full size product. So I have fully blended Tongue Pop into the cherry soda and just doing this in a very messy sort of fashion, I want it to look a little, a little slapped on. Um, as you know, I'm really into like the grunge look. It's just my world, I love it. Now there aren't many parts to this. It's a very quick look but it's a very beautiful look. So using any kind of small dense brush, um, so I'm, I have two Morphe brushes here. I do kind of live for the M321. I'm going to go for my all time favorite. I've decided it's my favorite eyeshadow ever and it is Blood Sugar. And this brush applies it so beautifully. And I'm just going to sweep it around the outer corner in the shape of my crease. There's no need to cut the crease for this. These colors stand out, they are pigmented, they are fantastic, and I have decided they are, they are hypoallergenic, at least for me. That must have been a freak accident to do with buying cheap eyelash enhancement serum. Don't do that. Like, if you want your eyelashes to be larger, go for the, the professional ones. Don't buy some FEG stuff off eBay. Not that it was, well, it was that, I can't lie. I decided to do this in full face makeup. There is a new product that I'm super interested in. I actually ordered it. It is the ColourPop foundation and it's finding its way onto YouTube quite a bit. Um, 12 bucks for a full ounce of product and you get a free makeup brush with it if you order it now. I don't know if that's a promo that's gonna go away. Well, I wanna blend the blood sugar around and down. Now I'm going to take the other small brush and in the inner corner very tightly pack the shade Sweetener. 
and start blending those together. Now you can use your finger for this too, but I want it to be kind of a natural gradation into it. And then I also want to take it into my ooh, tear duct area just a little bit, just ever so much. And already that kind of sunsetty look is coming together. Now what I want to do is there is a color on here called Donor, which is a beautiful gold color. Um, that's just it swatched on my finger, and I just want to tap it between tap 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 it between the blood sugar and sweetener to give it a little bit of a darker look on the inside. And then I'm just going to take my large Morphe blending brush and soften that all up, circular motions, just to clean it up. And then once blended, I may apply some darker colors in the crease if the uh, cherry soda has been blended too far. So those colors are fully blended and integrated and I decided the color that is missing is of course that beautiful shade Blood Sugar. And I just wanna build that up. Now these are metallics, you could spray them or wet them in any fashion. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I think they are very high quality pigments and they do not require uh, water to be activated or to be used for that matter. They give a nice foiling effect without all the extra work. So there we have our messy Southwest sunset beginnings. And again, it's just going to be blending and maybe cleaning up with concealer. But I find that my favorite makeup looks are the ones that I let get messy and then either cleaned up or left as is. Because while there is beauty and precision, I think there's beauty in the messiness too. So if I come in really closely, the Southwest sunset, it's just what it made me think of. The Sandia Mountains. Here you have the crest of the mountains. You have the sun peeking out, reflecting off the river. Just beautiful. So I'm going to lights, camera, action, and then we'll finish this look. All right, so I lined the eye, um, the lower waterline. I used a gel liner, I used the Ulta gel liner in blackout, and then a wing liner with the Lottie London. And I think I'm going to darken this up just a little bit um, to blend a little bit more into the black. So I'm taking a mixture of coma and intravenous and just beginning to kind of pack that in the crease and then letting it fade and blending. Just to add a little bit of depth and size to the eye as well as shape. I actually feel more comfortable doing my makeup naked. It's like the weirdest thing. I'm totally confident. This is like, this is like a game changer. It really is. From, for me at least. I mean, I've been insecure about my body since before I was even old enough to really know what that meant. But I think as, particularly as women, not that men are immune, but as women, we are conditioned to be perfect and to aspire to a certain goal. And I look at my heroes from childhood, like Kate Moss and Fiona Apple, and the one similarity was they were bone thin. So of course me, when I see even a stitch of fat on me, it's like, oh my gosh, I have a double chin. Oh my gosh, I have this, I have this, I have that. Oh my gosh, my flat stomach isn't there. Oh my gosh, when I lie down, it's there. But when I stand up, I'm disgusting. And that's the rhetoric that goes on in my head and probably a lot of other people's. So I think if we take a moment to separate our ideals from our realities and recognize our beauties, at our individual beautiful components and our strengths, it goes a long way. Speaking of, I am not going to do fake lashes for this video. My lashes have been taking a beating from the fake lashes. So I am going to use this weird eyelash growing mascara, which is very gooey. And you just kind of rub it over the lashes in a normal way, kind of like you're brushing your teeth on your lashes. You just have to be really careful because it is very sticky. It will gum up and it will get on your eyelid behind the lashes. But just making sure to keep them separate and if you keep applying and rolling the wand, you do get quite a bit of growth. 
you just have to be very careful about double applying because this is spider lash territory. And not that spider lashes aren't cool. I actually like that look. And then like, I have this way of just blinking onto it to make sure it gets there. So yeah, that's a pretty dramatic difference. And this isn't even a big brand. It's called Extension Visible Mascara Lash Power by Me Now Generation 2. And it was, again, like five, 10 bucks on Amazon. And it does have little fibers in it, but so does the Kush Mascara. I think it's just the adhesion formula um, allows those fibers to cling to the mascara. Now, if you were so inclined and you wanted to go over the other side, it would probably be pretty gummy and messy. See there, I've got like a chunk, but um, if you wanna keep building it up, just make sure you have like a spoolie on hand. And like, you can feel it when you wiggle it on your bottom lashes. Ooh, that gummed up. So, pretty nice lashes actually. Might add a little bit more to this side, but for now I'm focusing on keeping my eyelashes alive. So it might be a while before fake eyelashes. And I am going to spoolie out the mess and then we'll truly finish this look. Thank you. I can't find my Jeffree Star Posh Spice lipstick. This is catastrophic. Lime Prime, you are always there. So this is a very similar shade to Posh Spice, which I only got like two days ago, but it's already catapulted to fave status. Just a brown nude. Mwah. Does anyone else feel my pain in that manner that like, if it's not having to get them out of the way, is that they get covered in lipstick. The pricey pay for piercings. So while that dries, so I don't get it all over my piercings, I am going to contour a little bit using my Morphe, I have to go under. <laughs> Still want this to be appropriate. I'm going to go into my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil with my Morphe B14. I like this blush, brush, brush for contouring. It's just a very light feathery brush. I think it's actually intended for eyes, but it does the job especially with powders. And actually I've used it with my uh, NYX Wonder Stick or my Rihanna Match Stick. So pretty universally good. And because I'm feeling froggy tonight, a little bit of that. The only thing is if you want to use it for your nose, be super careful. Those are there now. Now the final little thing to add is we are going to go back in with our pinkies on that color donor, big payoff, and just wipe it like that. Super simple for a very editorial looking kind of thing. All right, so there it is. And from there you can add blush, highlighter, lashes, eyebrows, whatever you wanna do. I just wanted to show you my Southwestern Sunset concept eye and be naked on video again, cause it feels good. And I love you guys. You guys are really instrumental to my life in a big way. You know, I come down here and I have my little workstation, which is a total mess. And I'm immediately soothed by putting on makeup, which was the basis of this channel to begin with. So you guys really do mean the world to me. I, I, I read your comments and I see a lot of similarities that I think are commonalities among most women. I do want to really quick remind everybody that the Kat Von D is coming to a close. Um, we are going to have a winner soon. Next will be an unopened blood sugar palette as well as a thirsty palette. So the giveaways are getting bigger and better. I also wanted to shout out a couple of other cool finds. I found this, it is by the brand Viceart. It is a South African company. So of course I'm all over it. And it is the editorial mattes, matte brights edition. I haven't gotten a chance to play with it yet, but it's really cool. Again, that pop sugar foundation, um, medium to light is what I've heard. I will let you guys know firsthand. 
And what else is there that I have come upon? What have I come up on? Oh, yeah. Beauty boxes. Allure, whatever. Canceled. I would throw them, but they have stuff in them. Ipsy. Canceled. Just know. I have enough of those little bags. So do you. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this little look and little chat. And I'll see you next time. Please don't forget to jump on the ark and be a unicorn with us and sail through the seas of amazingness. That sounded kind of weird, but subscribe below. Thank you. Mwah.